Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica of Miss More Style. I make videos about affordable fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel. So if those things sound like your jam, I want you to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and ding that notification bell because you will love my channel and my content. Uh, today, I'm going to be hauling everything that I bought from the Nordstrom anniversary sale this year. It wasn't a ton. I wasn't um, super, super excited about this sale this year, but I did wanna try to pick up some pieces. If you happened to miss my previous video, I did a Nordstrom dressing room try on here in Los Angeles. So I will link that video in the uh, description box so you can go watch that. I think a lot of the pieces that I did try on there are actually still in stock. I'm just gonna share with you all what I actually purchased from the Nordstrom sale. And I'm also gonna share a couple things that I purchased in past Nordstrom anniversary sales because Nordstrom tends to repeat certain things in their sale every year like they might not sell the exact same thing but they'll sell something like from the same brand that's very similar so i'm going to share a couple things um just to round this out that i have bought in previous years or that i already own that i think are worth buying from this sale that are included this year so without further ado let's just go ahead and get into okay, it so let's just go ahead and start with what i bought this year everything that i bought this year is actually pretty affordable i want to start by saying that one of my items will not be in this haul because it was not available to like uh, be picked up. Um, it has to be shipped and I think the tracking says that it's going to get here on the 19th, which today as I'm filming this is the 16th. So I wanted to get this up ASAP. So I'll just like put a photo of it here. It's really pretty um, like white or I think maybe it's a little bit off white Topshop faux leather moto jacket. It's on sale for $49. I saw this on another blogger and I didn't even realize that this was part of the sale. Like I really went through the sale online when they did the preview and like combed through all of it to sort of pick out the things that I like was interested in and I never saw this, but when I tell you that I love a good moto jacket, you guys, you don't understand. I have like a black one, a brown, a tan suede one, a lime like greenish, yellowish one. It's really fun. It sounds not cute when I'm describing it, but it's great. Um, and I think I have like a light pink one. I love a moto jacket. It is such a classic jacket and it goes with literally anything. You could wear it with like a dress, you could wear it with a t-shirt and jeans. You could literally put a moto jacket on anything and it just gives like that instant cool vibe. And I didn't have a white one. So when I saw this one, I was like $49, I'm gonna try it out. So it's from Topshop. Um, I hope it looks fantastic. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure that you find me there. I'll put my handle right there and all my social media links in the description box um, because I'll probably share on my stories once it comes in and I try it on. Hopefully it stays in stock. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about this. I'm just bummed I don't have it here to try it with you. So the first thing in my haul that I can show you is another Topshop item and it is this little cropped short sleeve balloon sweater in this really light pink. And this is, let me look, it's $29.90 on sale and then after the sale it will be $50. Now Topshop to me is kind of a brand that it's not the most crazy quality. So Topshop's normal prices, I'm usually kind of like, mm. but when Topshop goes on sale, I usually tend to be more apt to buy it because their sale prices, I feel like are more fair for the quality that it is. So this is super cute. I just love anything pink. It's actually so, so soft. Like it's so soft. And I love that it's short sleeve. That's something different. I don't really have any like short sleeve sweaters. Um, and I really see myself being able to style this in a lot of ways. By the way, this is not going to be one of my normal hauls where I like do a whole outfit changing thing for you guys. It is extremely hot in LA this week. As I'm filming this, it's like 6.30 PM and it's still so hot and I can't have the AC on because my AC is so loud when I film. So I'm just going to be showing you guys and just trying things on. I'm not going to be doing like a whole styling haul this time, but I'm sure this will show up in um, a future styling video, but I love this sweater so much. I think it's gonna look great with like high-waisted skirts or high-waisted pants, um, mixing it with like other colors. I'm, I'm just very, very excited about this and how soft it is. Mm, I just wanna snuggle it. Mm. All right, here is that adorable sweater on. I'm more in love with it wearing it than I was looking at it online or just seeing it on the hanger. It is very cropped. Um, these pants that I'm wearing with it, actually this is like a really cute outfit with like the, the baby pink and then Baby blue gingham, like, right? Like, oh, hey, hey, cute. I'll stop. I don't know. I really like this. It's very soft. It will be a million years in Los Angeles before I will be able to feel comfortable wearing this sweater and not sweating my butt off, but I'm excited for those days to come, and it's really girly and cute. I love it. 
And this one is a keeper. Another Topshop item. This is going to be in the same print as that blouse that I tried on in the dressing room, but I saw this online and I wanted to give it a try. I was kind of disappointed this year because I feel like a lot of times Nordstrom puts like really pretty like silk and lacy camisoles in their sale and I always buy those because I wear the crap out of them. They didn't really have a ton of those this year, I don't think. But I did see this. This one's different because it's more of a cowl neck, you can see. But I really love anything in a leopard print. And I figured I could get a lot of use out of this um, just because I can wear it right now as I'm sweating to death in this heat. And also it can transition into winter. I could wear it underneath blazers or underneath um, cardigans or maybe over the top of um, t-shirts or over the top of like thin turtleneck sweaters or something. Like something like this is very versatile. So one thing that I'm not super stoked about looking at it is I'm seeing now that it doesn't have an adjustable uh, strap. So we're gonna see when I try this on how that, but this one was a great price. So normally this would be $35 and on the sale it is $19.90. Here is the camisole on. Now I got this in a size eight because Topshop tends to run a little bit smaller and the Nordstrom website sort of um, suggested that I get the eight based on like my size. Um, Cause they say the size um, eight in Topshop runs like a four to six. But I don't know, I feel like because the straps aren't adjustable, it sits kind of low. Like you can see my strapless bra there. I think this part looks fine. I don't feel like the straps are falling off my shoulders. It is really pretty and I love the print. It's very fierce, but I wonder if I got a size six, my true size, if maybe the straps would be slightly a little bit smaller. I do think I have plenty of room here in the sides to go down a size and still be fine. So I might return this and exchange it for a smaller size just because I feel like it's just a little bit too roomy but I've got it on with those leather leggings which I'll show you in a second but I mean rawr right that's how I feel right now real talk this next one I'm really not sure how I'm gonna try this on for you guys because they are faux leather leggings and like I said it is hotter than Hades here y'all and so we all know if you've ever worn faux leather or leather pants they are hot so pray for me when i try to try these on but these are from the brand bp i got these in a size small and normally they're 49 dollars, but on the sale they're 28 dollars and 90 cents um and i'm wondering why i got small i'm starting to be nervous that maybe i should have gotten a medium so again pray for me when i try these on but they look really nice in person they look like a really nice leather and i love wearing leather leggings um, or leather looking leggings in the winter because A, they are warm and B, um, you could wear this with just like a really big oversized chunky sweater and boots and it just looks so cool. It's just a great outfit combination or outfit formula for the colder months. Here are the leather leggings. I literally thought I was going to rip the tag off when I was trying to put these on because they are really tight. However, I do remember why I bought this small. Um, people in the review said to take your normal size in leggings. Normally I would wear small in leggings. So they said if you ordered like a little bit bigger, then they might not fit quite right. So they fit skin tight and I like where they hit at the ankle. They're not like, sometimes the problem with leather leggings is they're a little bit too wrinkly at the ankles, but these are not, but wowza. Definitely not going to be wearing these for some months. Okay. So here's another item that I actually did try on in my try on video and it is faux leather make skin print trench coat from black on yc um i think is there a tag on it somewhere yes so normally this jacket retails for 118 dollars, but on the sale it is 69 dollars and 90 cents now when i tried this on in the store i tried on medium and i didn't quite love how it fit so i wanted to order the small and try that to see if like maybe i would enjoy it a little bit better in a small this is definitely a statement piece i know it's not for everyone this definitely got like a lot of love and a lot of like not like hate in my last video some of you guys were like yes get that trench coat and some of you guys were like no that trench coat is a no for me i tend to really like things loud um and i i really like this so let's see how the small does so here's the trench coat on i'm going like full on like committed to leather and animal print in this look and i was sort of thinking it would look ridiculous but now i, I really don't hate it i think this is kind of badass but maybe that's just me maybe I'm a little bit too over the top for most people but I do think I like this a little bit better in the small I feel like it just does hit better in the right places it doesn't feel quite so baggy and schlumpy 
and it's such a cool piece it's definitely a statement piece i mean i think it's a beautiful jacket fierce like i was afraid it was gonna look kind of cheap in person but it looks really really nice actually now i'm gonna move on to the second section which is stuff that i already have from past nordstrom anniversary sales that they are selling basically the same thing if not damn near the same thing this year the first item i want to show you guys actually a pair of yoga pants they're from aloe yoga and these are um they're kind of like a moto style yoga pant they've got this like cool like texture right here they've got some little bit of mesh the more texture and then the back side has got like some mesh and more texture i think these panels are so cool these are like one of the coolest pairs of um, yoga pants that I have and I love everything from aloe yoga. They tend to be on the pricier side So when they're on sale during the Nordstrom sale, it's always a good time to snap up their stuff And I believe right now there are somewhere in the ballpark of $70 on sale. So these are great They also transfer very well from yoga class and you can put on like a cute Oversized sweater over these and go running errands and they kind of give the look of like moto leggings Just absolutely adorable. I love these so much. Okay a couple pairs of denim. So last year maybe it was two years ago during the sale i discovered good american jeans now if y'all don't know about good american it is chloe kardashian's company and i'm not usually one to like jump on top of something that the kardashians put out although i have heard that skims are really good and i really want to try some of the shapewear that kim put out so if you guys have ever tried skims and you have anything to say about it leave me a comment um, and let me know how you feel because i'm very interested in trying it however chloe knows what she's doing with the jeans y'all because I'm not like super curvy, but I am curvy and I do feel like it is hard to find a good pair of jeans. Well, Chloe made them. These are, I believe they're called the Good Legs um, jeans from Good American. They're skinny jeans. Now, skinny jeans are kind of out of style right now, to be quite honest with you. Um, but I still love skinny jeans for the winter time because when you have thigh high boots or knee high boots, it's good to have a tight pair of skinny jeans so that you can put your jeans on and then you can pull your boots up. Um, otherwise I'm definitely all on the mom jeans or boyfriend jeans train right now but for the fall when you want to wear those boots these skinny jeans are the way to go now I don't know how these are made or what sort of witchcraft that she put in them but I feel like they just make my legs look so slim and they really make your butt look really good now I'm nervous because I haven't worn these since last winter because you know it's hot here and also quarantine and all that stuff I've been eating and drinking and things so I'm gonna try these on for you or attempt to try them on I hope they still fit I think they do but the thing that I also have to tell you about good American is I feel like they run a tad bit big which I'm not mad about um, I have these in a 4 slash 27 which normally I would take a 6 or a 28 so keep that in mind when you're ordering good American I probably could have gotten the 6 but I remember when I tried these on the 4s just really made me look snatched if you've been thinking about trying good American now's the time to get them I believe the version that they have in the sale is slightly different the good legs ones um, I think the ones they have this year don't have like um, a hem I think they have like a cut off hem but other than that it's basically the same jean from what I can tell um, but I think they're like 120 or like somewhere around like 110 100 dollars on sale normally they're like 150 somewhere around that ballpark so if you're looking for a good pair of skinny jeans good American is forever I forever stand them they're just they're so good okay i managed to get these good american jeans on it was a struggle i think it's because i'm really sweaty right now um that and i could stand to uh maybe not have so much chips and guac but they still fit even with a little bit of a struggle up the booty but you can see they're just a great pair of skinny jeans they have just like that great dark wash it's very classic goes with everything and they're the perfect jeans to wear in the winter time with over the knee boots which i will show you in one second this is a pair of jeans that I bought from the Nordstrom anniversary sale last year that you guys have seen probably in a lot of my try-on hauls if you've been around for a while. And currently on the website on Nordstrom, they are sold out. But I'm hoping that when they open up the sale in a couple days to everyone and not just the card holders, that they'll restock these because these are so good. They're the uh, rib cage um, straight leg jeans. So they are very high-waisted and they're just kind of like a little bit wide leg and they just go straight down. And I have worn the crap out of these since I bought them. They're Levi's and actually Levi's usually runs like weird sizing, but I do have to say these are a size 28 and they fit me perfectly. So I think that these jeans run more true to size than most Levi's jeans do. Um, but I can't say enough good things about these jeans. I literally have worn them and worn them and worn them and worn them. So I believe on sale they're around $60, which is a great price for Levi's jeans. Um, so I would say just keep checking back to see if they restock them because they're literally 
like one of my favorite pairs of jeans that I've ever owned. All right, these are the Levi's jeans. You can see how high-waisted they are. They're just basically straight leg. They've got a little bit of distressing on this leg. Pretty minimal, and I like that about them. And just a solid pair of jeans. I like can't say enough good things about them. Okay, I got one pair of boots. This is a pair of Steve Madden boots that I bought, I believe, two sales ago. But they pretty much have the same type of boot on sale. And they're these sort of like pointed-ish toe over the knee boots um, with sort of a lower block heel. And I love these. You literally, they have like a zip closure here, but you just pull them up. I've worn these so much. That's why they kind of look a little bit worn. I've worn these all around Paris, all around Italy when we went a couple winters ago, and they're super comfortable to wear long periods of time. Um, and they've held up really well, I do have to say. I think these are somewhere around $100 on sale, or if they're like a little bit less, if I remember right. But worth it. So, so worth it. These are a great pair of boots to grab if you like the over-the-knee boot style and you can't quite afford the uh, Stuart Weitzman variety. Here are those Steve Madden boots on. They're just a great over-the-knee boot. The heel height is so manageable and they just look so great with my good American jeans underneath them and can't say good enough things about these boots. They're just very, very easy to wear for every day. I have some Stuart Weitzmans that are like this but much higher and these are just so much easier and manageable to wear than those, even though I do love those the best. But these are just a little bit more realistic if I know I'm going to be walking around for long periods of time. I'm sweating my butt off. Okay, I think I only have one more thing to talk to you guys about. And I briefly touched on it when I was in store shopping. And they, this is not the actual set that they sell, but Nordstrom is selling a package with the new face devices. Um, and I highly recommend getting it, guys. These tools are so good so this is like their new face um mini what is it called so this is the fix the new face fix and this is the mini uh facial toning device they come in a set together with the um product that you use on your face to uh use them with it's like a sort of like gel serum type thing that you put on before you use these on your face normally this set would cost 348 dollars, but it's on sale for 233 dollars now, let me just briefly tell you really quick what these do. So we'll start with this one. So this basically emits a microcurrent. I would turn it on, but mine's dead. I need to charge it. But it emits a microcurrent and you basically, you use it for like a couple uh, minutes a day in these sort of like strokes and you keep pulling up like this and there's different ways you can do it. You can use it on your jawline. If you can use it on like your neck to like lift um, your neck and use it on your forehead. It basically works to stimulate the larger areas of your face to create like a sort of almost instant lift. If you guys want to see a video where I consistently use this for a while and you want to see like the before and after of how it affects my face, please leave me a comment because I've really been considering doing that. But you can even see the difference even after you use it one time. Um, so I might even do that in the video as well. Like do it for the first time and just on one half of my face and show you how you can see actually a significant difference right off the bat. Essentially, um, it says as we age, our body's natural current begins to slow down just like our metabolism leading to sagging skin, loss of contour, and wrinkles. Microcurrent mimics this natural current and goes beyond skin deep to tone facial muscles while improving contour and skin tone and reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So this is basically giving the um, muscles in your face like a little workout, I guess, like to help tone and lift them. This is the fix. And basically you pop this off and it has these two little uh, balls, I guess you can say it right there at the top and you would turn it on. This one's actually charged and you can kind of feel it vibrating. One, it helps to plump, smooth, and tighten the look of skin within three minutes. So it's a pen-sized device, and you use it with the um, Fix Line Smoothing Serum. And it's the first ionic microcurrent skincare formula supercharged with active beauty ingredients that help smooth, tighten, and brighten skin. Um, the serum can also be used alone or even over makeup to refresh and brighten anytime your skin needs a boost. Um, so this one, I remember when I went to the event for it here in LA, they sort of said it's, it's more like you kind of like use it like this while it's on um, for more of like your fine lines like around your smile lines and all that. These are two amazing devices. Not everything at the Nordstrom sale is always worth it but I always feel like when they do the beauty devices it is so worth it and I know I said in the shop with me video I showed you guys the Dr. Dennis Gloss mask which I also have. That one is sold out. I think it sold out really fast because it was such a good deal and I don't imagine they're going to restock it. Maybe they will. If they do, I'm going to put a link to that down there too because it's so good. And I promise I'm so close to filming my final thoughts and uh, results video with that. So that is all that I have to share with you guys today for the Nordstrom anniversary sale for 2020. 
I was pretty tame this year. I didn't really go super nuts. I, like I said, I wasn't super excited about a lot of it, but there were a couple things I wanted to try and pick up and see how, how they did. So what do you guys think? Did you shop it this year? What did you get? Did you not shop it this year? Let me know in the comments. I always like to chat with you all. Uh, and if you haven't done so already, you gotta go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ding the notification bell too, so that you're always notified when I upload a new video. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or found it useful or entertaining in any way. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.